Okay, guys, now, uh, before we jump to Unity, I just want to show you something that is very, very important. And that is, we have to decide what is the playable range. And that is, when is it going to be my leftmost corner? Is it here? Is it here? And when is it going to be my rightmost corner? Is it here or, you know? So what I do is, first of all, I change the serial dot right. I don't know if you can, you can see it, to print line. Now, this is only for debugging purposes. You don't have to do it. But once I upload it and click on the serial monitor, you can see my values, my readings. Now, in my case, I wanted to say this makes more sense to start from this guy. Like, where do you want this to end? I think this is reasonable, and it's about 5. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now, I don't want it to make it too close, because I don't want to end up hitting this guy. Not to mention that I think if I get too close, I'll be having some really weird readings. So 5 is interesting. Now, the next thing you need to decide is the range where you want the rightmost corner. Now, you have you want to make sure that it's not too close so that this becomes way too sensitive or like way too far so this becomes insensitive. So in my case, I think I chose from 5, this is going to be to 25, which is about here. So this is going to be my playing range, which I think is reasonable. And as you can see, it's about 65, yeah. This is about 25. And this is, like I said, this is very important. You don't have to stick with the same thing. But for me, I chose from 5 to 25, so that is 20 degrees. And it's going to be important when dealing with Unity and how to convert these degrees into the play space area. Okay, welcome back, guys. So in this part, we're going to be dealing with Unity. And I started by making a new scene. It's two-dimensional. As you can see, the camera is orthographic, and the size, I de de made it into 10. Now, obviously, the resolution of my game is going to be portrait 916, because I wanted to do it for mobile, and I want it to be played in the portrait modes, not in the landscape. So I did this, and then I changed it 10. Now, you want to go ahead and do this, because I want to simplify something for you guys, especially if you're beginning in Unity. Now, the very first thing that I want to do is let's create our paddle. For simplicity, let's make it a cube. I'm gonna have it in the center of the universe. And let's have it two. I think this is interesting. Change its name to Paddle. And the height, I think, here is good. Now, one thing that I want you guys to notice is that the leftmost corner is about minus five, and the rightmost corner is about five something. And this is going to be important. And that's really the reason why I decided to make the main camera 10 and change my perspective. Because I want to explain something to you guys. Anyways, so let's start by creating a script. I went ahead and created a script called Paddle. And this is where I'm going to do it. So, um, in this part, I'm going to explain some basic movements of how to move the paddle. Now, I always do this. Whether I want to move my paddle with the accelerometer or with the Arduino, I always start with the keyboard for just checking whether or not my logic works. So all that I do is within my update, I want to check if at any given time the input dot get the key. So if the key was clicked or is actually being pressed, key code dot, I want to say the right arrow, then obviously I want it to move right. Now how do we move right? First of all, I want to get my actual position because I want to be incrementing or decrementing that value. It's vector2, I'm going to so call it temp, and it's going to equal my transform dot position. I'm getting my position. And then I want to say temp dot x equals, actually plus equals, which means that I want to take the x that it's already the transform dot position, and I want to add some value to it. If I wanted to say 1, what's going to happen is that on every given update, and as long as I'm clicking the right arrow, the temp x would move one unit. So, and given that I have about 50 updates per second, that would be 50 units per second. And that's a lot. So, this is where I have the time multiplied by time, the delta time. What, what this guy does is that it divides it, so it becomes one unit per second. But we're not going to do one unit. This is experimental, so I'm going to do a public float. I'm going to call it distance, which is a distance I want to travel and it doesn't have to be defined here since it's public so I can do it from the editor 
and instead of one I'm gonna say distance and the last part would have to be is setting I'm gonna transform the position I want to set it to my temp now but before we we actually move along I want to show you guys something which is going to be very important and that is how do I make sure that my object which is the paddle doesn't leave the play space what I do is I clamp it so I would have to say temp dot x equals method f which is a class dot there's a clamp method this is it what value do I want to clamp I want to clamp the temp dot x itself and now I have the minimum value the minimum value is going to be minus 5 and the maximum value is going to be 5 so what this guy does is that if at any given time the x is less than minus 5 which is the leftmost corner it's going to give me minus 5 if it's greater than my rightmost corner which is 5 it's going to return 5 now logically speaking the left would actually have to do the same thing but instead of right I'm gonna do left arrow and instead of plus it's gonna be minus now these guys can be but this the remaining should be the same all that I need to do is now attach my script okay, to my paddle and I'm gonna give a distance of 5 not the AM. I'm gonna say yes so let's see if this guys work okay it does work and this is I'm actually clicking but it's not moving hmm. and the same thing so I think this is interesting okay now for the next part I'm gonna be showing you guys the how to read the serial ports which is the Arduino and make that position so see you then